In this session, we will discuss about the concept of creativity. The main objectives in this lesson are to understand the thinking and levels of thinking, types of thinking, creativity and definitions, historical aspects of creative thinking, aspects, nature and types of creativity, the creative process, stages of creativity, characteristics of creative people, tests and nurturing creativity, thinking and levels of thinking. Thinking is one of the several activities of human mind. To a larger extent, it is thinking which differentiates us from animals. One important component of human behavior is cognitive component which deals with mental activities. Among all mental activities, thinking and reasoning significantly influence the lives of people. The process of thinking can only be inferred from our behavior. Any person involved in thinking uses various tools of thought like images, concepts and language. Mental images and concepts are called as building blocks of thought. Levels of thinking. People can think at different levels. Two levels of thinking have been studied by psychologists. They are perceptual level. This level is based on grasping clues from one's environment and forming thoughts or perceptions. Mental activity in perceptual thinking depends on the perceptual processes. Piaget has called this level as sensory motor thought. And second level is ideational level. The second level of thinking is of higher level. This thinking depends upon the ideas. Man's superiority over other species is the direct result of ideational thinking. Ideational thinking is the process of generating numerous alternative ideas resolving the gap between the vision and the current reality. Types of thinking. The term thinking is used to refer to more than one specific activity. This suggests that there may be a different types of thinking. They are as follows. Unfocused thinking which has the character of day dreaming without a clear purpose, aim or direction. Focused thinking which begins with a clear purpose and has a specific goal. Reasoning, problem solving and creativity are focused thinking. Reasoning is the mental activity of transforming information to reach conclusions. Problem solving is the thinking process which completely focus on the task of finding a solution to a problematic situation. Creativity can be defined as the combining of responses or ideas in a novel ways. Creativity and definitions. Man is a creative being. Each individual has his or her own potential to perform every task in his or her own manner. There are many creative people, the scientists like Galileo, Newton or the writers like Shakespeare, Kalidas and many others. All of them create something new in their own area. They added some new knowledge to the existing knowledge or produced something original. The growth of human civilization, science and technology is to a large extent a result of the contribution of such creative people. Definitions of creativity. Creativity is defined as the tendency to generate or recognize ideas, alternatives or possibilities that may be useful in solving problems or communicating with others and entertaining ourselves and others. Sternberg and Lubert 1999 define creativity as the ability to produce work that is both novel, original and appropriate that is useful. Begotto and Kaufman 2007 define creativity as a novel and personally meaningful interpretation 
of experiences, actions and events. M. J. Levin defined creativity as the ability to discover new solutions to the problems or to produce new ideas, inventions or works of art. It is a special form of thinking, a way of viewing the world and interacting with it in a manner different from that of a general population. Thus, novelty, originality and invention are involved in creativity. So, creativity can be found in every area of life. Now, historical aspects of creative thinking. In the beginning stages of psychology, the concern was mainly related to understanding of the creative behavior of a very eminent creative personalities. Sir Francis Galton, Havelock Ellis and Lewis M. Terman undertook an analysis of biographics and life patterns of great men and women of genius. They concluded that creative thinking was a specialized and exclusive ability mostly inherited. But later studies conducted by Gulfer, Torres and Jackson found that creative thinking was not an exclusive or very specialized type of process. It further proved that the creative thinking was not inherited. Yet another conclusion that emerged was that while creative individuals were distinctly above average in intelligence, a high degree of intelligence is not essential for creative thinking. It may be seen that creative thinking results in addition to the knowledge and reinterpretation of existing knowledge. In one elaborate study of Gilford focused on the concepts of convergent and divergent thinking. In convergent thinking, the thinker gathers information relevant to the problem and then proceeds by using problem solving rules to work out the right solution. The result of convergent thinking is usually a solution that has been previously arrived at by someone else. Convergent thinking is not the type of thinking people primarily use when they think creatively. When people think creatively, they think in a divergent manner. Divergent thinking includes artistic thinking and some convergent thinking. Divergent thinking is a creative ideas generate by exploring many possible solutions. Now, aspects and nature of creativity. Gulford considered creative thinking as involving divergent thinking which emphasizes of the following aspects. Fluency. The number of relevant ideas shows an ability to produce a number of figural images. Flexibility. It is the individual's ability to produce not only a number of ideas or solutions, but also a variety of ideas or solutions to a problem. Originality. The number of statistically infrequent ideas shows an ability to produce uncommon or unique responses. Elaboration. The number of added ideas demonstrates the subject's ability to develop and elaborate on ideas. Nature of creativity. Creativity is the characterized with a salient features. It is a universal, not born by barriers or age, location, culture, phenomenon. It is innate and acquired, nature and nurture. Creativity is a means as well as an end, source of happiness 
and a reward in itself. It has a wide scope not restricted by any limits, does not necessarily go hand with intelligence. A person can be bright and uncreative or a creative and not intellectually gifted. It cannot be separated from intelligence, has to have a minimum level of intelligence, rests more on divergent thinking, multiple solutions than convergent thinking, single solution, goes together with anxiety, the creative person keeps anxiety within limits and direct to productive channels. Creativity is measurable, at least to some extent. Novelty, originality and invention are involved in the process. Now, types of creativity. Experts also tend to distinguish between different types of creativity. The 4C model of creativity suggests that there are four different types. Mini C creativity involves personally meaningful ideas and insights that are known only to the self. Little C creativity involves mostly everyday thinking and problem solving. This type of creativity helps people solve everyday problems they face and adapt to changing environments. Next, Pro-C creativity takes place among professionals who are skilled and creative in their respective fields. These individuals are creative in their vocation or profession but do not achieve eminence for their works. Next, Big C creativity involves creating works and ideas that are considered great in a particular field. This type of creativity leads to eminence and acclaim and often leads to world changing creations such as medical innovations, technological advances and artistic achievements. Now, next the creative process that involves stages of creativity. The history of research on stages of creativity began with Graham Wallace who suggested that creative thinking follows four steps. Stage 1 is preparation. The creative process begins with preparation. So, gathering information and materials, identifying sources of inspiration and acquiring knowledge about the project or problem at hand. This is often an internal process thinking deeply to generate and engage with ideas as well as an external one going out into the world to gather the necessary data, resources, materials and expertise. Therefore, the thinker is advised to learn as much as possible about the problem area. Next stage 2 is incubation. In this stage, the solution exists but it is not clear. Next, the ideas and information gathered in stage 1 will marinate in the mind as ideas slowly simmer, the work deepens and new connections are formed. During this period of germination, the artist takes their focus off the problem and allows the mind to rest. While the conscious mind wanders, the unconscious engages in what Einstein called combinatory play, taking diverse ideas and influences and finding new ways to bring them together. Now stage 3 is illumination. Next comes the aha moment after a period of incubation, insights arise 
from the deeper layers of the mind and break through to conscious awareness. Often in a dramatic way, it's a sudden eureka that comes when you are in the shower, taking a walk or occupied with something completely unrelated. Seemingly out of nowhere, the solution presents itself. So next stage is verification. Following the aha moment, the words get written down, the vision is committed to paint or clay. The business plan is developed. Whatever ideas and insights arose in stage 3 are fleshed out and developed. The artist uses critical thinking and aesthetic judgment skills to hone and refine the work and then communicate its value to others. Since this stage is the final one, the thinker may well make some modification to his ideas which he has reached in the previous stages. Of course, these stages do not always play out in such an orderly linear fashion. The creative process tends to look more like a zigzag or spiral than a straight line. Characteristics of creative people the qualities of a creative person have been differently enumerated by different psychologists. They have originality and flexibility of ideas and expressions, adaptability and sense of adventure, have high degree of awareness, enthusiasm and concentration, good memory and general knowledge have a positive attitude, have a strong motivation and determination, ability to make independent decisions, an open mind with preference for complexity, asymmetry and incompleteness, a high degree of sensitivity towards problems, ability to transfer of learning from one situation to another, diversity and divergence of thought even in convergent and stereotype situations, ability to elaborate to work out the details of an idea or a plan, high aesthetic values and good aesthetic judgment, self-respect self-discipline and high self-confidence, respect of others' opinions but does not accept without questioning, spontaneity and ease of expression, the capacity to imagine, fantasize and daydream, tests of creativity and nurturing creativity. Assessment of creativity can be done through a multi-dimensional approach like test, observation, interview, rating scale, projective techniques, etc. They can be measured both verbal and non-verbal. Some of the standardized tests of creativity are as follows. Minnesota tests of creative thinking. Gilford Divergent Thinking Instruments Torrance Test of Creative Thinking Baker Mehendi's Test of Creative Thinking Passy's Test of Creativity Now, Nurturing and Stimulation of Creativity Creativity is a natural endowment which needs stimulation nourishment and nurturance. In order to facilitate creativity, the following measures can be used. Give freedom to respond. Encourage originality and flexibility. Provide appropriate opportunities and atmosphere 
for creative expression. Brainstorming give an opportunity to experiment with creative materials. Encourage using of creative resources of the community. Summary Thinking is one of the several activities of human mind. To a large extent, it is thinking which differentiates us from animals. The process of thinking can only be inferred from our behavior. Any person involved in thinking uses various tools of thought like images, concepts and language. Mental images and concepts are called as the building blocks of thought. There are different types of thinking such as unfocused thinking which has the character of daydreaming without a clear purpose, aim or direction. Focused thinking which begins with a clear purpose and has a specific goal. Reasoning, problem solving and creativity are focused thinking. Man is a creative being. Each individual has his or her own potential to perform every task in his or her own manner. Mm -hmm.